Hey there, Angie M. I'm actually trying to film using the camera on my laptop, my older laptop that I did replace this year. It the camera wasn't the greatest, so I thought I would try this one out and hopefully help me to be able to see my face. We'll see how it does. And actually look at the camera. Naturally, I did not grab the mirror because why would I have done that? I know my mirror, the mirror that I like to use, it's nice and big and is, is just a mirror. Is upstairs in the bathroom. We go kind of quick. I didn't really notice when I applied one eye and then the other that it made a difference in application of the Fenty primer. What I did notice is it felt like it made everything else go more slowly. I don't want more slowly. More slowly is not just not good. My daughter, we kept her home today because she is getting a molar and I can clearly see the outline of a molar. So I know it is, it's getting a molar and usually when she does that, she spikes a fever. So before, you know, we send her to daycare and they call us and they're like, she has a fever. And then we have to potentially take her to the pediatrician, get the all clear. It was like, let's, let's just keep her home and, and not do this fight. Oh man, it's just been it's been a crazy busy day. There were a bunch of things that I thought I was gonna be able to get filmed. I think it's Monday, I really wouldn't have been able to, but I hit the store early and I realized that I wanted to use something that I hadn't used much of. I want to focus on a couple of palettes that have really, really truly fallen by the wayside in terms of use. And the Golden Goddess from Charlotte is one of those. I really like this particular palette. I have truly gone in on this brown. These special shades irritate the crap out of me. I feel like they get hard pan. They end up all over my face. They don't usually work the best, but the other three shades are awesome. Is it worth the price? I'd say that's debatable. Like if you used more of this and if I, if I pan because I like it, then probably I would say it's, it's worth the money, but I don't know that I would go that far. Let me move just a little bit closer. I'm going to go into that lightest shade in there and just tap off. My skin's also super duper dry today. My lips just feel like the Sahara. I love the formula though. Like Charlotte's formula is so good. I'm still waiting on my brow products to arrive as well. They're actually in my area, and if they weren't giving it to the post office, like if the UPS were just dropping it off like they should be, I would have had them today. But now I have to wait for them to go to the postal service for the postal service to jack around with. I don't understand. So there is such a huge difference between the free shipping and then the first option, sometimes from Ulta, where you really, I, I just, I don't, I don't want to pay as much as they want me to pay because I feel like I'm getting ripped off because of what they're charging for shipping. And then you have the free options. You're like, oh, I'll do the free option. And they're like, oh, well, you'll have it by X, Y, Z. And I'm like, a week later, where's my stuff? Because we're giving it to the Postal Service. And apparently the trade-off takes forever. So I should have just gone to Sephora. My daughter and I were actually at a JCPenney Sephora. And if it hadn't already been shipped, I would have been like, cancel. I didn't in, didn't intend to be. It was just kind of one of those accidents. And we didn't go into Sephora because I was afraid that I was just going to buy and want to return. Then once I got the products, I probably should have just done that. I should just bought them and returned them to Ulta. That's such a pretty color. I really like that shade. And then using the same brush, the same Sonia Kashuk brush, I'm just gonna go into the grayer shade. My crease and just above. And I noticed that with the Fenty, the Charlotte Tilbury, I'm not having an issue with it in that crease. as well. So something about their formula is okay with the Fenty primer. I'm 
And this also blends so nicely. When I look in the mirror, this eye seems more punchy, but when I look, I can see on the monitor, it looks even-ish, so that's good. All right, I'm gonna take a fluffier brush, more of a blending brush, and I'm just gonna go into that deeper brown shade. Realistically, I could stop here. Those are very nice and will give you very nice wear. Pat that in, just with the outer. It's all about the dimension. And this is kind of the go-to look with this palette. I love it, every time I wear it, I love it. I love how it looks, I love how it feels, how it makes me feel. Again, I'm just using stamping motions. And then for the lower lash line, I'm going to go in between. First, I'm going to kind of pick up some of that brown and tap off. And then I'm going to pick up some of the gray and then a little bit more of the brown and then a little bit more of the gray and just tap off. So I can kind of mix, mix and marry those two shades together. Again, it just gives a really nice nice dimension to marry the shades and get them under the eye. And again, it just makes for such a pretty, pretty look. Still need that mirror. I don't know why I put it away. Silly me. Again, I feel badly that this palette gets forgotten because I love my looks. I love how I look every time I wear it. So if something happened and I were suddenly like, you know what, I want to live a minimal life and I want to just use, you know, one, this, this guy would be on the short list for sure. Of, of favorites. It's very neutral. It looks almost cool tone and it kind of fools the eye because sometimes what we refer to as cool tone now isn't really all that cool in the grand scheme of things. But to me, on, on me, this is just a very neutral, very, is it cool? Is it slightly warm? Who knows? And it just seems special because all of the shades, I I don't have anything that I could dupe them with. That I could be like, oh look, I could grab this other palette over here and get the same look. I can get similar looks, yes. But I usually don't feel about those looks the way I do about the looks that I create with this palette. So just a, just a little note there on that. Something this weekend, I wore Flower Child Blush from Becca, and then I used that Fenty Dream Class just, just a little bit, like, on the apples of my cheeks, and that also gave some nice dimensionality, which I was really, really, really pleased with. I'm going to try some more. I'm not going to prime my face at all. We're just going to use products and see how that turns out, because I blush for me seems to be okay without getting into primer. So I just want to see how a bronzer will do it. I'm going to use this bronzer from this NARS Summer Lights palette. This looks very similar 
in terms of two of the shades and probably the highlight just a little bit to that Charlotte Tilbury four pan, but it's not spot on. And they don't have the same pigmentation. Charlotte, it, Charlotte is a better quality. It, it just, it just is. It's just a higher quality. Sorry, Nars. I'm just going to smooth this out. And then the kiddo is supposed to be napping. She needs to, but she is fighting that nap. And this bronzer is not ready at all. It is quite, quite a soft color. So Laguna has more punch to me. This is more, I just want to add some kind of depth to my face, but not, not go in too hard. See, even every time I catch myself, I just, I like, I like the look. All right. So for these next parts, I don't really need everything here that's out. Let's slide that away. I'm trying to put stuff away as I work because otherwise my workspace just gets cluttered with all of this unnecessary stuff. All right. Then I have the Super Shock Cheek Pearlized in Lunch Money from ColourPop. This guy is another one that's kind of fallen off the map for me a little bit. I really, really liked it to the point it was even getting getting some pan that I mushed back. I kind of like the camera on here better than on my phone. It's picking up the lighting differently. So if it looks like I have a filter, I do not. It's just the way the lighting works with the camera actually on my laptop. So again, I just, I really, to me, this is a really nice goldy shade. If you're fair, it's not super yellow. It just gives you, just go over with what's left. It just gives you a really, really nice finish and naturalish glow. Which I am down for right now. And I, again, I'm kind of trying to work through some things that seem like they have gotten forgotten. I have my singles palette. I'm going to take a blush from here. And what I'm going to do with this look, because it is more neutral, I am going to go into Tarte Party. I could also go into Sin, but Sin is a purpley shade from. Well, now I am torn. Nah, we'll go, we'll go into Party from Tarte. And then there we go. So for lips, I'm supposed to put that down gently. I've got my Fenty Slip Shine in glazed. It's perfectly serviceable, but it's definitely not a favorite. Or my Blossom Roll-On Gloss in Peach. I think I'm just going to do that. The 
Something I picked up at Target is super hydrating. I actually really like it. I keep it on my desk so I can just use it during the day as something to slap on. Makes my lips nice and shiny. I'm good with it because this is a more natural-ish type look. It's a thing. Pray for me. Hopefully my daughter's molar comes in and it feels better. I knew We knew something was up and we thought it was allergies because she's not really been sick. But brushing her teeth this morning when I hit the one side, she immediately screamed and like it was game over. So yeah, figured that out very fast. <laughs> And on that, I am going to leave you guys, and I will catch y'all in the next one.